Working for peace, ready for war. That's the slogan, the motto for the USS Carter Hall. And there are dozens of men and women, both in the Marines and in the Navy, who make all the missions a reality here. We're able to catch up with some of them. It's Petty Officer Second Class Seth Stevens you'll hear from. But first, the commander of the ship, Brad Fancher. Commander, good to see you. Thanks for having us on board. Uh, glad that you're here. I uh, always welcome aboard the Carter Hall. I'll tell you what, there's no better advertisement for the Navy, I think, than being on the deck of a U.S. Navy ship. Uh, no, being on the deck of a Navy ship is a very unique thing, um, especially seeing the sailors, what we do, seeing the equipment we have on board. Uh, you just don't get a perspective until you're on here and you see, especially how big this ship is, uh, exactly uh, the, uh, the amount of work that goes into keeping these things running, and uh, especially talking to the sailors. Um, yeah, it's, it's something unique. Tell me about the Carter Hall. Earlier I called it the Swiss Army Knife. Maybe I shouldn't use Swiss. Tell me, <laughs> you, do, <laughs> you're married, <laughs> you do a little bit of everything, and it's impressive to see it at work. And I'm guessing you're in awe every time you get on board. Oh, I'm uh, in awe every time I get on board. I mean, I have the best job in the world coming on, especially in Amphib. Uh, you're right, we do just about everything. Uh, we are underway all the time, and we always have a mission when we go out. Uh, I know a big part of that, of course, is bringing Marines and their combatant stuff you know, from the ship to the shore when we need to. But uh, uh, most of what we do is humanitarian work. Um, these ships it went down. Uh, we were part of the Afghanistan withdrawal. Um, had thousands of uh, evacuees come on, uh, go through the ship on their way to America. Uh, we were in uh, Lebanon, did the same thing back in 2006, um, helping people get out from a, a bad zone over there uh, to places with their families to start new lives. Um, also, we go down to Haiti for the earthquake relief uh, and helping uh, move uh, logistics, baby food, water, um, diapers, anything they need, we can load onto this ship. We have helos come on, uh, the amphibious crafts or the hovercrafts or the boats come over, and we just move all this stuff to shore to help people. Um, same thing for hurricanes, Katrina, uh, Merida, we had the same thing. We, we like to, most of our mission is helping people and uh, on the other side. Tell me about the logistics of just loading this thing, because you get so much on in a very confined spot, but you make it happen. Yeah, so we take a lot of stuff on board, and it is a game of Tetris, what the crew likes to say. Um, we will bring stuff on board, and we have to not only bring it on a lot of stuff, we have to know where to put it in order to get the most important stuff off first. So we can't have you know, the, the trucks that we need or the water bottles out of the way, and we can't get to it when we have a mission. So we have to really put a lot of effort into packing this thing out so we can move the important stuff to shore first. What's it like for a captain to see a bunch of 20-somethings? I mean, they are, they are fresh out of high school, some a little bit of college, and they take over a task uh, that's for an entire nation, and they do it well. Uh, the whole reason I wanted to be a captain of a ship, and I've always loved being on ships, is because you get guys right out of high school who go to boot camp, and they come on board, and it's the first time a lot of them are from Chicago, a lot of people from Baltimore, different places, come on board, and this is the first time they've been away from home, on their own, and they really are developing into you know, adults, and you're fr helping frame them into the adults they will be. Um, to see them come on and take over task um, is an amazing thing. You know, I've always liked coming on, it's one of the reasons I did it, is to be able to train these young guys and see them go for them, brand new, not knowing much, and to leave in the ship with some rank on and experts in their field. Um, it is something that you won't see anywhere else. I was going to say, it's got to be a proud papa moment for you to see that maturation happen. Yes, it is very much a proud papa moment. Um, you know, my wife says that this really is you know, part of our family when we come on. And we do see uh, Carter Hall. These guys come on. I want to see them do well. I want to see them do the best that they can and really leave the ship better than they were when they got here. You have a piece of equipment, and we'll show you behind you, that not every commander has on board. This is pretty cool. Describe what this is we're looking at. So this is, we refer to it now as a PL. Yeah. But this is an old captain's gig. You don't see this on hardly any other uh, Navy ships. They all got replaced by the really fast 11 meters. Yeah. But back in the day, these things were built like back in the 50s, almost World War II. Uh, these are old captain's gigs uh, that they used to put in the water. Right now we're using this one for search and rescue. So if someone goes overboard, it goes in the water really quick. Uh, but it's just very unique to this ship. Uh, they don't see a lot of them anymore. Uh, so come on out. Yeah. Take a look at it because uh, it's unique. To be honest, when other captains roll by and they see this on board, you're, you're kind of shining it up for them, yeah? Oh, yeah, they are. Most of them are looking at them and say, oh, my gosh, I've never seen. 
I haven't seen one of those in 20 years, so yes. You do Fleet Weeks in New York, you do them here in Baltimore as well. well what do you get out of it? I know what the young people and people of Baltimore do, but what about for folks in uniform? Uh, well, it's, uh, it's unique. This is actually my first Fleet Week. Okay. Um, so uh, I've been stationed all over the world um, and deployed all over the world, but it's the first time on the East Coast for me and first time on a Fleet Week. So this is a great learning experience for myself coming out here, especially seeing a city like Baltimore come together, open their arms, and welcome the crews the way that they are and really open the doors. We're at the opening ceremony yesterday, and the amount of enthusiasm that this city has for Fleet Week is really uh, astonishing. It really makes us proud to come over here and be part of it. Well, it's good to have you and good to have all your folks on board. Thank you for, so much for all you guys do. Oh, thank you. Thanks for coming out. Good to see you, sir. You too. Thank you. Joining us now is Petty Officer Second Class Seth Stevens. Good to see you, sir. Good to see you. Tell me about Fleet Week for somebody on board. This has got to be cool. Uh, for some on board, well, you got a little work in the morning, but after that we get to go out in town, get to explore the site, see the sites, try all the foods that are unique to Baltimore, and really get to know the people of the city, which is really nice. It's got, I mean, you've been ashore before. It's got to be interesting to see the reaction that you give, because people really appreciate, especially when you're out in uniform, the work that you do. Oh, yes, definitely. There's a lot of people who thank us all the time, and it's a unique experience being able to uh, represent the Navy and get that, uh, well, respect, I guess. Tell me uh, also about your work on board. You do logistics. It's a big word, and some people don't know exactly what it entails. For you on this ship, what does logistics mean? So for me on board, we deal with uh, making sure the ship has all the necessary parts that we can keep running, as well as uh, we also handle some crew morale. We receive all the mail on board. So when we're out to sea, we can also receive mail from any of the families, kids, spouses, all that for people so that way keep the morale up. Uh, we also deal with a lot of the finances and other things around the ship so that way we're saving the Navy money and all that. What, call, what called you to service? I think everyone has something different. We were listening earlier this week. For some people it's school, for other people it's, it's been in their family. Some people need a structure in their life. I'm, what was it for you? Uh, almost all of those, honestly. <laughs> like My family did have a military past. My grandfather served, my dad served, all that, uh, and also my uncle. Yes. But for me, I've always wanted to be in the Navy, always wanted to serve my country for at least for a little bit. And of course, getting my college paid for was also yeah. one of those things that would be nice. So yeah. As I look at your uniform and I see you're decorated, I'm guessing you wear that with pride. And I'm curious, what, tell me what those are all about. Uh, there's a, quite a few of them. This one right here is a humanitarian ribbon. Okay. Uh, we got that for when we were in, a, we helped with the Kabul incident in oh, Afghanistan. Okay. So yeah. we were able to help the refugees and all that. And so I'm very, that's probably the one I'm most proud of, yeah. was being a part of something that big. Like a, a rewarding experience, yeah. I'm guessing, for you. Very rewarding. We know how much work you do. I know there's probably some downtime as well. For people who don't understand, when you do get downtime, what do you do on board? Uh, for me, we do have a gym on board, so a lot of us stay fit, work out. Otherwise, uh, read, yeah. watch movies. Go ahead and say it. I know what the other one is. We play video games <laughs> occasionally, yeah. We play video games when we have the chance. Yeah. Uh, otherwise than that, really just building the camaraderie that we have with other uh, guys on the ship and girls on the ship. So. Your folks are way out in Utah, that's where your family is, but you're lucky enough. You have Fleet Week here in Baltimore, and your sister's here. How cool is that? It's pretty cool. I'm very lucky to have family in town that I'm able to go visit and that the Navy brought me here. All right. so. We're fortunate to have young folks like you on board. Thanks for all you do, man. Good Thank to see you. Much. Thank you very much. Good to see you, too.